Welcome to Comments to This Week on Campus, your weekly webcast of news, events, and sports here at Western Iowa Tech. I'm Jane Suarez. And I'm Wendy Ramirez. High schoolers interested in attending Western Iowa Tech were invited to campus visit day that was held this week. WIT TV's Luke Larson was at the event and tells us what about what on. It's another campus visit day today at Western Iowa Tech. Students and parents are filling the Rockland Center and touring the building. Here's more on this year's campus visit day. Students and their families got the full campus experience this week, exploring programs, meeting instructors, and touring student housing. The Campus Visit Day event included plenty of helpful information and experiences for visitors. Stephen Garcia is the Director of Outreach and Residence Life at Western Iowa Tech, and he tells us about the purpose of Campus Visit Days. So the goal is to uh, give high school students, uh, specifically juniors and seniors, an opportunity to learn about WIT, just get on campus, um, get a feel of you know, what it might be like to be a student, and then very importantly to uh, hear about the program area that they're interested in. Garcia says he wants the experience for visiting potential students to be authentic and show what the school is all about. He notes what events and aspects make the campus visits truly genuine. So our campus has a lot of events going on a lot of the time, so we can just kind of point those out. We can talk about, you know, um, what it is like to live on campus, bring them to the gym area, and then they can walk through the cafeteria, see what it might be like to be a student. We talked to one student who said the campus visit day is beneficial for potential students considering Western Iowa Tech as their college. I think it gives them a more perspective of the school. Um, it gives them a tour of it. I think everyone was really nice and it's definitely a school that I would consider. If you or someone you know wants to tour Western Iowa Tech on a campus visit day, the next one is in spring, March 20th of 2025. For WIT TV News, I'm Luke Larson. Guests were served lunch and entered to win prizes with over 50 students attending. We'll have our next visit day on March 20th, but you can set up an appointment to visit anytime by calling 712-274-6400. Western Iowa Tech Childhood Education Department is now hosting a toy drive for the children in need. WIT TV's Kelsey Sketchers has more. The Education Club is now hosting a toy drive for kids in need. There will be many locations here on campus to drop off any gently used or brand new toys. Jennifer Weber, Coordinator of Early Childhood and Education, speaks on why this event is hosted and how it has an effect on the children receiving the gifts. We are hosting the Gently Used or New Toy and Book Drive to support some of our local community partners. So other agencies supporting families don't always see toys and books as a need for those families, right? They're thinking about clothes and housing and furniture and, and things like that to help them get started. Newer uh, refugee families in our community, uh, their kiddos haven't had a lot of experience with toys. The children don't have the opportunity then, sometimes until they go into a child care program, to, um, to play with toys or to use books. And so we saw that as a place where we could help. You can donate toys up until the 15th of December, and there will be drop-off boxes near the Early Childhood Department, Admissions, Corporate College, Student Center, and the TSI Lobby. This is Kelsey Sketches reporting for WIT TV. Students and staff are able to donate until December 15th. We have exciting events coming up here on campus. WIT TV's Cash Emerson has gotten the details from Mike Craig. This week on campus, I got to talk with Mike Craig, a.k.a. Comet Craig, about some upcoming events and why students should participate in activities. Mike Craig here, a.k.a. Comet Craig. I uh, just want to tell you about some upcoming events coming up on campus. On November 22nd in the Dunker Center at 6 p.m., we have flag football. So it's going to be seven on seven. If we get enough teams, we can host a tournament. We can make that happen. And then we have um, holiday decorating um, in the CLC, the Comet Learning Center. Uh, that's going to be Tuesday, November 26th. Uh, it's going to start at 2 p.m. until it's done. So we want to bring the energy and have a lot of fun. So bring yourself, bring your creativity. Um, we're going to make the library as loud as possible. And then on again in the library and um, the CLC on Monday, December 2nd at 10 a.m., 
We're going to have self-care baskets. It's while supplies last, so if you're interested in that, come out and check that out. I also got to talk with Mara Hall, the internal communications coordinator here on campus. She also expressed why it's important for students to attend events and how it could benefit them in the future. So um, events are super important for student involvement because it's a great way to meet people who are like you. So one of the, the, the cool things about college is that you can establish friendships that last your lifetime. Some of my best friends are from 20 years ago um, when I was in college, which I'm sure you're amazed at how young my skin is. Um, but, but those are the best friendships out there. And also, when you are involved, that's how um, you can remain joyful and happy. And um, we've got some amazing events coming up. So the participation is a great idea. And if you have any questions, um, all of the library events, you can go uh, to the library and talk to Kendra Hall or student activities, you can go see Mike Craig, um, and he'd be happy to help you. That office is in admissions, but his email would be mike.craig at witcc.edu. For WIT TV News, this is Cash Emerson. If you want to know more, then look for the campus calendar and stay tuned to This Week on Campus. Western Iowa Tech recently hosted the Pins and Wins bowling event. This event gave students the chance to take a mental break and release stress by having fun with peers. Mike Craig said that this was the first Pins and Wins event held at Western Iowa Tech. We got a chance to get in on some of the action and here's what we got. Um, this is our first ever um, that I know of uh, for Pins and Wins. So we're putting together kind of bowling in the Dunker Center. Uh, this is uh, the first time on campus that we've had it. I think it's important to just um, be part of Western Iowa Tech and part of uh, the different activities that we have on campus. It gives you a break from class um, and then all. I think it gives uh, students that maybe have bowled in the past an opportunity to showcase their talents. Um, it also just shows, um, it gives a student a chance to be competitive, but yet also have fun at the same time. And then they can win a prize if they get a spare strike. So just a fun way to give back to the students. On November 18th, Paint a Canvas was held on campus. This event allowed students to paint on canvases to express themselves and show off their artistic skill. Mike Craig said this was a good way for students to take a break. Um, this event usually goes around um, yearly, um, so we just brought it back um, because we want students to be able to kind of showcase their talents and have a break from class. When students are engaged and involved, it shows their potential of increasing so we want student engagement, but we also um, just want them to have a break. Uh, we know that this time in uh, classes can be very difficult and challenging, so we just want to offer time to just kind of get a break. I think it showcases uh, their ability and also gives them an opportunity to show their unique talents and then just have fun. Wait. Up next, we'll be taking a look at our upcoming events here on campus. And later on, we will have uh, how the comments did this past week. Stay with us. I'm Megan Zabrowski, a Western Iowa Tech graduate. I'm from Sioux Center, and I moved to Iowa when I was in high school. As a student with disability, I needed a school I can put my trust in to help me grow and expand my career opportunities. Western Iowa Tech Community College had what I needed. I joined the Math Communication Department to get a degree in video and media production. If you want the tool for success, come to Western Iowa Tech Community College. <laughs> Your life sounds pretty great. Don't let a buzz ruin it. Buzz driving is drunk driving. How do you know when you've made the right decision? It's the feeling you get in your gut. The one that tells you what's right or wrong. It's the one that says, sure, I can have a drink. Or the feeling that says, okay, I've been drinking. Now what? It's the voice inside you that says, I'm buzzed. Better leave the car when it's time to go. Plan ahead. Catch a sober ride. Buzz driving is drunk driving. Welcome back. 
Next Monday on the 25th, the last bingo in the cafe will be held by the Overlook Cafe. Make sure to join, play, and win prizes from 11.30 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. Western Iowa Tech is hosting Make a Self-Care Kit event December 2nd in the library. To speak more on this subject, we have more Kendra Hall to give us an update. We're in the time of year where everything gets all stressful and chaotic, right? We got family stuff happening and travel and money at the end of the year and finals and teachers sometimes don't think about <laughs> like how much is coming at students. And so it's a great time to just come collect some fun things, some de-stressing things to help you get through the end. So part of preparing for finals is being able to focus, being able to study, being able to manage your time, manage your stress. So if by picking up a little game that helps you sort of fidget away some troubles or some nice smelling hand lotion that helps you settle your nerves. All of these things are things that can just make us feel good and we can take care of our bodies and take care of our minds and get through those tough ending tests and projects at the end of a semester. Make sure to come on down to the library to get ready for finals. Karaoke in the Cafe is coming up on December 5th in the Overlook Cafe. Come down to experience an unforgettable day of college karaoke. This event is all about having fun. Cheer your friends on while enjoying the massive selections of songs across all genres. This event is hosted by MassCom students. Don't miss out on a chance to make unforgettable memories. Coming up in the Cargill Auditorium, we'll be having the student the student talent show. If you uh, if you got something to to show off, then don't be shy. Join in on other students on December 5th to watch or go up yourself and show what you got. It's free to watch, but if you're interested in joining, then please contact Mike Craig at mike.craig.edu at Western Iowa Tech. Looking for the perfect book for a holiday gift or for a book to read? The Wit Education Club is hosting the Scholastic Book Fair. Come down to find books that you could gift to young readers while also supporting local child care facilities. For a chance to win a prize, you can dress up as a f your favorite book character while exploring the annual Scholastic Book Fair. The fair runs from December, 20, uh, December 2nd to December 7th from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. With extended hours for December 2nd and 3rd, that runs from 4 to 6 p.m. The fair is located in room A11L. Come down to explore amazing stories. The holidays are around the corner, and we are going to start this season off with some holiday cheer. If you would like to help out and decorate, be sure to show up at the library on the 26th at 2 p.m. If you have any Christmas decorations that, that you no longer use, feel free to bring them to the event, and those items will be labeled and used as decorations. They will be returned to you once Christmas is over. On December 9th from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m., the Cherokee campus is going to have Christmas cookies to decorate in a coffee bar for those there to help themselves to. If you want some holiday cheer, go on down to the Cherokee campus and get into the Christmas spirit. That's all for upcoming events. Doreen Mashana will tell us what next week has in store weather-wise. Last week, Brandon met a girl on a dating app. One day after work, he finally found the courage to ask her out. No answer. He started to panic. Was he being too pushy? Maybe it was too... Hey, sorry I didn't respond. I was driving. I would love to go on a date. How does tonight sound? Brandon tried to play it cool, but inside he knew. A girl so smart, so responsible. She must be a keeper. If you need to do something to feel okay to drive, you're not okay to drive. Don't drive buzzed.
Welcome back, Comets. Now we're going to take a quick look at the weather. Now, it's been snowing a little bit recently. Is it going to get any better or worse, Doreen? Um, for the snowing part, I mean, this week, as how we can see, it was a little bit snowy, but let us see for the weather what it will be like. Um, starting on Saturday, it will be high near 47 and a low of 34. Uh, on Sunday, it will be high near 45 and a low of 22. And on Monday, it will be a high near of 32 and a low of 16. On Tuesday, it will be high near of 35 and a low of 21. On Wednesday, it will be high near of 36 and a low of 19 with a precipitation 20%. Uh, on Thursday, it will be 31 with a chance pre precipitation of 20%. So I hope you'll all stay warm and have cards for that. Mm -hmm. We're getting ready for Christmas, holidays, yeah. Thanksgiving next week. Yeah, yeah it's going to be great. Yeah. Thank you so much, Thank Doreen. You. Yeah, when we come back, we'll have Samarian talk to us about sports. Stay with us. Being a cowboy, I don't know anything different from when I was three or four years old. I did tough things. I thought everybody needed to do tough things. And if you didn't, I didn't have time for you. I had a very successful career at a very young age, and life was fast. I was preparing physically. I wasn't doing anything mentally on the inside. And then I got hurt. I wanted to be better as a person. And I really dug into mental health. I start my day with a 20-minute workout. I live life eight seconds at a time. Horses are so therapeutic. They know what you're feeling. When you're nervous, they're nervous. He won't say it back, but we're pals. I take a lot of responsibility in taking care of my kids, my family, and being there for them. You're gonna have tough days. Everybody does. Find a place to stop and just breathe. Love your mind. Welcome back. So we have Samarian here talking to us about sports. Samarian, how is sports going? Good, Wendy. The Comets men's basketball team competed in two highly competitive home games this week where they split one and one. The first game, Friday, November 15th, the Comets faced Central Community College where they won, resulting in a 63-55 final score. Hit. Sophomore DeVaris Whitaker ended as their leading scorer finishing the night with 22 points and five rebounds. Sophomore Joshua Scott added 12 points and five rebounds off the bench. Sophomore Zani Smith also added 10 points and eight rebounds, while sophomore Javar Safford brought down 10 rebounds in a common win. A big night for the upperclassmen. The following day, on Saturday, November 16th, the Comets faced Highland Community College in a close-knit game that the comments ended up losing, resulting in a final score of 59 to 58. Freshman Zodlin Collins led the pack with 18 points, where he shot four for five from the three-point line. Sophomore Devaris Whitaker continues to put up numbers, completing another double-double on the season with 15 points and 13 rebounds. Next up, the comments will face North Platte Community College on the road at 7 p.m on Friday, November 22nd. They will also face Fort Scott Community College on the road on Monday, November 25th at 7.30 p.m. That's all for sports news. Come back next week for more sports, for more information on your favorite comment sports teams. All right, Samarian, so sounds great. Mm -hmm. Well, when we come back, we'll have campus stops next. Stay with us.
With the days getting colder, the chances of catching a cold rise, so make a trip to the campus clinic to keep yourself healthy. The campus clinic is located in room A212 of the Kaiser Building. They are open from 8.30 a.m. to 1.30 p.m., Monday through Thursday. No appointment is necessary. Just show your college ID and they will get you in healthy so you won't miss class. Did you know that the Comet Cupboard has food and toiletries that could help you if you're on a budget? Well, it's true. It's free and available 24-7. Just show your school ID at the front desk during business hours. After hours and weekends, you can call Campus Safety at 712-274-6414. Their branch campuses in Cherokee and Denison are open Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. The food pantry is free and confidential. Want to practice basketball, volleyball, or perhaps you want to use the fitness equipment? Then Robert E. Dunker Center, it would be the perfect place to visit. Robert E. Dunker Center is open Monday to Thursday, 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. Fridays, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Saturdays, 8 a.m. to 12. And on Sundays, 12 p.m. to 5 p.m. The Dunker Center is closed during athletic practices, so check with the front desk for information on practice times. Want to study, work on assignments, or need tutoring and you're looking for the perfect place? Then the library is here for you. The library is open Monday through Wednesday, 7.30 a.m. to 9 p.m., Thursdays and Fridays, 7.30 a.m. to 5 p.m., and on Sundays from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. The library is closed on Saturdays. The Campus Bookstore has all of the newest Western Iowa Tech gear and pearl that you could want. From sweatshirts to hats to pack bags and notebooks, the bookstore is located inside Entrance 1 across from the IT department. They are open from 7.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday. Need to get on to campus on time and don't have a ride? Well, Sioux City Transit and WIT has you covered. It's only $1.55 to obtain an individual bus pass for yourself. Just stop by the bookstore to purchase a pass and you'll be able to ride the bus right from campus. Want to make your morning a little bit better? The coffee spot here at school has great coffee to make your morning feeling energized. They have everything you would need to make your day great. The coffee spot is located just inside the main entrance and is open Monday to Thursday, 7.30 a.m. to 1 p.m. and on Fridays, 7.30 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. Feel free to check out any of those places on campus. When we come back, we'll have closing remarks. Stay with us. Whether it's our stories, the warmth of our laugh, or our family's secret sauce, we all bring something different to the table. So make some space. The power of connection is waiting right outside your comfort zone. Learn how you can help strengthen your community at belongingbeginswithus.org slash team up. Hear that? That's the sound of your life. Perfectly imperfect. But every time you drive after drinking, the music gets drowned out. Your life sounds pretty great. Don't let a buzz ruin it. Buzzed driving is drunk driving. Don't drive buzzed. One of the classes all MassCom students take is radio production. Western Iowa Tech TV, uh, Kelsey Skadges takes us behind the scenes. The Comets Radio Station is a fun Let's learning go. opportunity for Let's the students. Go. Students share more Mess information on behalf of what is done during class and why they enjoy it. Radio student Bryant shares why he benefits from this class. I come in, sometimes we have like commercials we have to uh, write and then go into a recording booth and then do the commercials and put them in the radio. 
But every Tuesday at 11 a.m. for my radio shift, that's what time I go in. I come in, put my um, uh, like adapter in, and then I have the music I have, what I want. And I have a whole playlist for that. So, I mean, what I like about radio is I can play anything I want, and people can listen to me like with any music. So, like, I do country, I do rap, hip-hop, just everything in general. Students in this class are able to share their love for music and can reach different audiences with many different genres. <laughs> the class is just basically like for students to like express themselves through music and doing it through radio. Um, a lot of students do like a lot of cool different types of music. Some students have done country, which I don't really care for that, but that's all right. Some students have done hip hop, rap, and then other students have also done like rock. We do a lot of rock <laughs> specifically in this department. <laughs> This class is not only to help students with learning how to do radio, but also to learn more about audio and how it applies to many things. I feel like it's a good lesson for also like learning audio levels, like making sure everything sounds good so you're not like blasting people's ears, making sure audio sounds good, timing things, like a lot of that is just good skills to know even if you're not into radio. Like I think it just helps with audio overall. For people interested in radio class, even if your interests and major isn't radio, I think it's a good lesson with audio overall. Just also be ready for a class that you'll have to kind of sit through sometimes to really learn like what's going on. Radio class students are able to express themselves through music and you can tune in to listen at 94.3 FM. This is Kelsey Scatches reporting for WIT TV. You can listen to Comet Radio anytime at cometradio.witcc.edu. This fall, we plan on being over the air as well at KD KWSR 94.3 as well. Thanksgiving break will start soon. So just a reminder, the school will be closed from November 28th through December the 1st. And it will resume on Monday, December 2nd. Happy Thanksgiving. You'll be able to find all of Western Iowa Tech's information and events on your social media pages. This information will be available to you on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and X. If you want to stay updated with upcoming events, make sure to follow us on our social media pages. If you have something you would like publicized on This Week on Campus, email us at thisweek at witcc.edu. This is the webcast from the Mass Communications Program here at Western Iowa Tech uh, in Sioux City, Iowa. Check out new episodes of This Week on Campus every Friday afternoon. For the latest content from our programs, please visit our website, wit witcc.tv, where you can find a direct link to our YouTube page. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. See you next week.